Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Blight League. So, we're back, and uh, with this episode, we have something planned. Uh, so, when I uploaded, it was, I believe, the build guide. If you don't know what I've done to the build, you should probably go two videos ago. The one right before the Mastermind video. Uh, I, the one where I talk about Cyclone and Spirit Offering, I explain all of the changes in the build. So... You should go look at that if you don't know what's happening here. Okay, because I'm not, this isn't a video for that, okay? This video is about what I want to go over now. So, somebody uh, asked me, hey, can you solo a pure Chiula Breachstone with this build? And honestly, I've never done one. Ever. Not with anyone, not by myself, on any character. I started in Synthesis. I didn't, I, like, I've, I only started doing Breach Stones this season, and I've only done Tool Pure Breach Stone, and that was with, uh, a group, and I, like, it seems really fucking easy, I don't know, it, it, the shit died instantly, so, I don't know how hard a Chayula Pure Breach Stone's gonna be, but, uh, it was 2.2x, right now, an X is 194 Chaos, so, you can do the math there, we also have some other things included in this video, so I'm level 98! We get to see how much experience we're going to get from a uh, pure Triula Breach Stone. So, uh, let me go into here, and we're going to... You can see there's me buying the... Uh, we're going to reset the XP, and then we're going to write down, uh, like we do in a lot of our videos when we're tracking XP of things I've never done before or whatever, and we're curious because we're trying to level to, to 100. Um, so, what what amount of experience will I be happy with? Well, when I was doing, when I did the other Breachstone solo, it was like 4 million or a million, 1 to 4 million. So this would have to be like 10 to 20 million from a single thing, which I doubt it. But anyways, I'm 90 million away from leveling up, and hopefully I don't die and lose 10%, you know? Well, stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. So we just have a... I might find out I made a mistake again, but we have a Chayula Pure Breachstone. I don't think there's anything else you do. You just put it in. Um, hopefully there wasn't, like, anything I could add to that to make it better. Chayula's Domain. Alright. Just looking at it. Looks pretty, uh, pretty bad. Oh, yeah, one thing. One thing changed from the Batlast build, uh, video to this one, though, before we get into it. Um... I, I noticed, I, I somehow, okay, somebody, I remember how, how this happened. Okay, so somebody posted a video two days ago about Holy Relic, but I didn't actually get recommended a video about a Holy Relic uh, until today, or like last night while I was, while I, when I made this change. So basically, I realized that uh, we can actually add Holy Relic back to the build. Oh, shit, no. No, 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 no. Uh, we can add Holy Relic back to the build. I had it in the build before when I was using Cyclone with the Caswell channeling with the Ball Lightning, but I took it out when I took out Cyclone because you're not uh, uh, hitting with attacks anymore. So now we get a hundred... Okay, let me show this. We get a hundred and twenty-one life regen per second added. So when it triggers, um, so we have 636, add 120. We're going up to 757 life regen per second uh we're hitting some good numbers and then you question oh what did you actually take out for it well this was the other thing i was talking to my friend uh on the game and i had 157 or 155 uh mana unreserved right and i was like there's no way i could take out my light in three i'm gonna have to like take this reduced mana stuff on the tree reduced mana reserved and stuff no I just took out the, the, the Enlightened 3, all my auras were still on, I have 65 mana, I need 34 for the Skellies, 2 for the Cyclone, with the mana pot I literally have infinite mana all the time anyways, um, wow, I got to add a level 21 20 holy relic that cost me like 80 chaos for 121 regen, okay, yeah, cool, oh, and extra damage, okay, right, let's get into it. So I guess I'll start with some skellies. I don't... Okay. I won't loot. There's no way I'm gonna loot. Oh, shit. 
This is crazy. Oh shit. Can I solo it? Can I solo it? Can I solo it? That is the question, guys. I don't know, man. It's hard to see shit, but seems to be going fun. Hm. Like, I don't think I'm taking any damage. So I could literally be, like, looking at my other screen doing this. The only thing I'm worried about is the timer. If I don't go fast enough. Oh, 28. There we go. We're going up in time now. We're fine. 29. Cyclone gem leveled. I started leveling the cyclone gem. Um, because uh, I'm going to get it free 20% quality. I'm going to make 20 chaos on it by leveling it and then getting the quality and then the quality increases the area of effect of the cyclone which I would like to do so what the fuck is this map what the hell is that ending that's so stupid the xp bar looks like it went up quite a bit 5 million 58 mil per hour uh okay wait is that good <laughs> dude what the fuck somebody thought this would be hard <laughs> What? Was this supposed to be hard? Well, okay, 5 million XP is shit for 2.2 exalts. Uh, that's quite a bit, though, from a single thing. No, that's pretty really crazy. If you just had the money and you didn't give a fuck, yeah, just run that. <laughs> just run this shit. Hilarious. What? What is that worth? I have to check. I'm curious. Uh, I'm just going to go back and loot. Apparently, I got 22 kills as well. I guess it's the culling strike from the animated Guardians Kingmaker Axe or whatever. But yeah, that... <laughs> this build's insane, man. I love this shit. Oh my god. Like, that was... Wow. That was so easy. Yeah, the boss didn't really give, like, anything. What the hell? Hmm. I also don't know what that purple thing was. I didn't actually look up the boss to, like, know what his attacks were. But that purple thing looked like it was scary and I probably shouldn't go near it. It looked like it was cycloning. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Was that the boss? <laughs> uh, probably should have looked it up to have a little bit more context. Maybe I could have turned this into an informational video about... Uh, uh, hey, just run this build. You don't even need to know what the hell you're fighting and just kill it. Easy. We're sustaining. We got a six socket. Okay. It's kind of cool seeing the loot after the fact. But yeah, maybe I could have looted as I went, but the timer seemed a bit rough. I don't know. Cool. So yeah, we got the Blessing and then the Cutlass. So I guess I'll pull up my Google real quick. Give me a sec. I'll get my PoE prices. Okay, let's price the Blessing. So of my 2.2x, I get back an X and then the Cutlass. 13 okay so i get back an x so i spent 1.2 x to get 5 million experience so it would cost me to get the final 92 uh, <clears throat> what uh 180 x <laughs> yeah yeah it's terrible what the fuck Welcome. If you're soloing, if you're if you're doing with other like I could definitely see doing this with other people, uh, carrying them and then 
uh, get, like getting them to pay for for the carry or like the the XP for coming along, you know. I could definitely see doing that. It seems pretty profitable. Um, wow. Nice. Uh, hmm, now what? Is that it? Do I just end it there? Do I do I leave it at we just soloed a pure Triola Breach Show and it was easy as fuck, but I don't recommend it for XP unless you're gonna group party and get people to chip in on the on the expenses? Hmm. Yeah, how much would you even have to have people pay? So like the tool breach stones, I looked it up, it's about 5.8x for 8 of them, which the guy was charging 1x for 8 runs, so he was getting back 5x just from the people. So you could basically base it off that, that's what people are willing to pay a percentage of. And then so Triula is 2.2, so you're getting like, it's over 16x of cost. So then you're going to need to get back from people like 3x per person. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, sorry. 2x. Yeah. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. Either way, um, hope you guys have enjoyed the Pure Triula Breachstone. I'd like to take a second to thank my Patreon supporters. Um, and obviously everyone, not just Patreon, but everyone supporting the channel recently. We've been having some insane growth. We passed 17,000 subscribers. We passed, we're, we're like already a 17,050. Like, what the hell is going on? It's like 450 subs now in like a week. It's absolutely insane. You guys are loving the videos. You love this, lo love what I'm doing and want me to keep going. So I'm just going to keep it. You guys want more? Hey, I got more. I'm <laughs> never, never out of ideas. All right. Thank you, White Wolf. And thank you, Tradnix, for all the support. And uh, uh, through YouTube memberships as well, we have Diver Boy, um, Barkbone, White Wolf, Tradnix. They all support. Uh, Diver Boy has been a, like, 27-month supporter through youtube or something it's insane all right hope you guys have enjoyed and uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace